Tao Lu, who never became a surgeon in his lifetime, was reborn. She threw tens of thousands of dollars and bought an unattractive ugly cat. He turned out to be the first prince of the vast interstellar empire, Simu. Tao Lu wholeheartedly hopes that after his recovery, his highness will leave with a good impression of the Blue Star people, thus preventing future wars. And she herself also has the opportunity to make up for the regrets of her previous life. Unexpectedly, this ugly cat not only insisted on not leaving, but also caused trouble on Blue Star. For the sake of all humanity, Tao Lu seems to have to follow him through the black hole to become a noble prince and consort. Poisonous best friend. So what if you go to the best hospital in Yunshur? You probably haven't even touched a surgical knife in these years. Director of the Divine Surgery Department. Please make way. Dr. Tao, please make sure to guide us on the surgery for the removal of astrogliomas. Director of Cardiovascular Surgery. For patients with thoracic aortic dissection transferred from the emergency department, you only need to be the main surgeon to be named. Beijing Third Hospital. Dr. Tao Lu has excellent medical skills and is specially invited to our hospital for one year of discussion and exchange. Behind the scenes mastermind. Planning a medical accident that will prevent her from practicing medicine forever. What are you saying? Did she cure the old man's illness? Auntie. No matter how capable a girl is, what's the use? Without a partner, everything is useless. Your brother. In. Law has become a senior executive in a state. Owned enterprise. Sister in law. The little boss who sells aquatic products has three properties at home. Although your education is not very good, you are not young anymore. Simu. Family members, can you also consider me? Tao Dad and Tao Mom. Isn't this the big boss of the world's top technology company on TV? Real people are even more handsome than on TV. What are you saying, you want to marry us Lele? Tao Lu. Don't pay attention to him, he must have ulterior motives. Keywords of the novel. After raising a cat, the female miracle doctor became popular in interstellar space without a pop.up window. After raising a cat, the female miracle doctor became popular in interstellar space. Download the complete text. After raising a cat, the female miracle doctor became popular in interstellar space. Read the latest chapter. Chapter 1. Rebirth Saving Blue Star. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Rebirth Saving Blue Star Tao Lepying lay on the execution platform, his hands and feet tightly fastened by the wide restraining straps, and his mouth covered with strong adhesive tape. The strong fear widened her eyes, but no one cared about her feelings. Number TZ76531, 55 years old, an elderly blue star female with no one adopting her. A person wearing a white robe walked over, briefly flipped through the words printed on her clothes, and then drew on the electronic board in her hand. Prove everything is correct, executed, he said indifferently. The thick needle mercilessly pierced into the arterial blood vessel, and Tao Lu felt a sharp pain in his arm. But compared to it, what is more is helplessness and despair. The Mio people, under the banner of revenge, sailed through the unobstructed outer space on a strong ship and landed on the Blue Star. The counterattack of the Blue Star people has almost no deterrent effect on them. In less than a month, the world fell, and the value of human existence remained only as pets. All surviving Blue Star natives were classified according to age and appearance. Young and beautiful, if they can calm their minds and bow down to their ears, they can still have a way to survive. Like her, those who are over 50 years old are basically ignored and all of them have been injected and destroyed. This kind of medication is not as painless as the Mio people claim. Tao Lu suppressed the increasing blood flow in his heart, estimated his blood pressure and pulse, and accurately made the countdown to death. 3, 2, 1. Before falling into darkness, Tao Li's eyes were bright red, and his last thought was that the executing Mio was sick, and he was very sick. Tao Letting sat up, 
his whole body soaked in cold sweat. She was panting heavily and her heart was beating fast as if it was about to jump out. Fortunately, it turned out to be just a nightmare. She thought happily. The room was pitch black. Tao Lu habitually said, turn on the lights. However, the intelligent butler system did not respond. She lifted her left hand, and the communication device on her wrist disappeared without a trace. What's going on? She reached out and groped around the bedside, accidentally touching something, and the room lit up with a milky yellow light. Seeing everything in front of him, Tao Lu was immediately stunned. Isn't this one bedroom apartment, which is less than 50 square meters, the one she rented in Yuncher when she just graduated? Decades have passed in a blink of an eye, and she is almost forgetting what this place looks like. But the ups and downs of my medical career over the years, including the last nightmare like half a year, are still vividly remembered. So, that's not even a dream. No matter how unwilling to believe it, Tao Lu must face this fact. She was reborn, returning to the era many years ago when humans were still dominated by blue stars. Tao Lu picked up the phone placed by the bedside and checked the time. Her eyebrows furrowed. Why is the date displayed on the screen so familiar? Yes, thirty years later on the same day, she and countless others, including her parents, relatives, and mentors, were mercilessly eliminated. So now, those people she cares about are still living well. At the thought of this, Tao Li's heart surged and fluctuated, and the sourness in his nose was unbearable. Tears easily filled his eyes. She immediately picked up her phone, wanting to call her father's phone and listen to the voice of the second elder. At this moment, the time on the phone screen once again fell into her sight. Isn't July 20th of this year, which is today, the shameful day repeatedly mentioned by the Mio people. It was today that a trivial incident occurred that led to the Blue Star being fully attacked by the Mio people thirty years later. A bold idea suddenly flooded into Tao Li's mind. If I could stop them, could I change everything? Although I don't know the exact time, I know the location where that happened. It's only 3.40 a.m. now. If I set off immediately, maybe there might still be time. Once this idea arises, it can no longer be contained. The earliest flight from Yunshir to Haishir is exactly 6 o'clock in the morning. Airplanes at this time are rarely full. Tao Lu received the news of successful ticket booking at the first opportunity. She glanced at her savings. After spending 1,400 yuan and buying a 70% discount on a plane ticket, she still has 15,300 yuan left. It should be enough. Tao Lu quickly put on his clothes, simply packed a small bag, and walked out. It was already 4 o'clock in the morning. At exactly 8 o'clock, the plane landed in Haishir on time. Tao Lu hurriedly left the airport and jumped into a taxi. Master, go to Jebao Cat Shed quickly, she said anxiously. As one of the largest cities in China, Haishi's airport is already far from the city center. It takes at least two hours to reach the Haidong area where the cat house is located, without traffic congestion. But now is not normal time, it's the morning rush hour. From the navigation software, the routes after entering the market are all red and purple. Even if the situation improves later, the arrival time will not be earlier than 10.30 or even later. Even if Tao Lu was in a hurry, he couldn't change the overall situation of the traffic jam and could only stare blankly at the street view outside the window. In this era, the sea market has gathered many elite talents from various industries, full of vitality and infinite possibilities. In the next thirty years, it did not disappoint people's expectations and became a city of dreams and hope for countless people. Until the Mios destroyed it. Tao Lu still remembers seeing the appearance of the ruins in the holographic vision, scorched black and dead silent. Just like the feelings of myself at that time and all the Blue Star people. So no matter what, she must do her best to change everything. At 10.42, Tao Lu rushed into the door of Jabao Cat House. This is the largest and most luxurious pet cat house in Haishir, 
covering an area of nearly kilometers, with over 300 precious cats on sale. As soon as she entered the door, a salesperson approached with a smile on her face. Welcome to Jebao Cat House. May I ask what breed of cat you would like to choose? I want to take a quick look. Tao Lu has never had a pet before, let alone understood the classification of cat breeds. But she knew what she was looking for. From the moment she entered, she didn't stop at all and quickly crossed over the front desk and customer reception area, heading directly towards the pet display area behind her. The salesperson quickly followed and skillfully introduced herself based on her gaze, saying, This area is a British short-haired cat. They have a gentle personality and enjoy human companionship. What you're looking at is just the golden gradient, and their eyes are bright emerald green. Before she could finish speaking, Taolu had already moved forward and looked at the other cats. You really have a keen eye. Main cats are in short supply on the market now. Despite their huge size, they actually have a very good temper. This is the puppet cat. Every puppet cat in our cat house has a standard wedge. Shaped head and pure navy blue eyes. Don't worry, the one over there is the sphinx cat, especially suitable for those who are allergic to cat hair. Tao Lu was very disappointed. She had carefully scanned twice, but still couldn't find the ugly cat that had decided everything. Is her rebirth, the hard work of this day, about to be in vain? End of this chapter Chapter 2 Find the Ugly Cat You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Find the Ugly Cat I don't know which type of cat you like, the salesperson asked gently with a smile on his face. It can be seen that she really hopes to succeed in her own business. Tao Lu was very anxious in his heart. She knew very well that the cat was here and ended up being ignored. But now all the display areas don't have its presence, what does this mean? Has that cat been taken down now and accepted its fate? If that's the case, then why did I happen to return to today 30 years ago? No, I absolutely can't let this happen. Between the exhibition area and the reception area, there is a door with the four big characters, employee passage, written on it. Tao Lu gritted his teeth and strode towards the salesperson in astonishment. Customer, that's the internal breeding area, no entry. Everyone in the store shouted behind her. Tao Lu turned a deaf ear and rushed straight towards the door. She had a strange intuition that the ugly cat she was looking for was right behind the door. Her hard work did not succeed. Two staff members in the display area quickly blocked the door. Guest, this place is not open to the public, they emphasized, their voice is very unfriendly. I, unjust, she said anxiously. Woo! A loud cat cry came from behind the door, sounding very anxious and uneasy. Taula doesn't need to look, he knows that the sound must belong to that ugly cat. She decided to rush in regardless of everything, save it, and also save the entire blue star. Perhaps hearing the noise outside the door, the door opened from the inside and a tall and thin man walked out. He is wearing glasses and a medical white coat, and his identity is easily recognizable. He is the veterinarian here. Seeing his appearance, Tao Lu was taken aback. Because she had seen this face thirty years later. He is the person who caused the ugly cat to act, and the Mio people forced everyone to watch his execution live broadcast. The scene at that time was incredibly intense and unforgettable. But now, he knows nothing about his own fate. What's up, the veterinarian asked impatiently. Tao Lu suddenly calmed down. She found herself overthinking things. The killer is here. The ugly cat is still alive, there's still time for everything. The key issue is that the cat house is not a charity organization, money is what they are looking for. As long as there is value, then every cat is qualified to live. The value of an ugly cat depends on oneself to decide. Do you have a cat with a strange appearance here? It's quite large, just like that kind of cat, Tao Lu gestured to the main cat behind him, 
there are large dark blue patches on its face and body. Do you know that cat? The veterinarian asked curiously. Of course Tao Lu knows. On the current blue star, no one understands that cat better than her. My friend once saw it and took photos to show me. I really like it, she made an excuse. But I came over today excitedly and wanted to take it home, but I didn't see it in the display area. May I ask if it has already been sold? Tao Li's words sound no problem. From her hurried footsteps as she entered the door to a momentary impulse behind her, every step conforms to the behavior pattern of a cat owner who has a sense of belonging, and such customers are not uncommon in the store. At this moment, the salesperson and a woman with exquisite makeup arrived in front of her. I am the store manager here, the woman said. I apologize for letting you down just now. Tao Lu keenly noticed that the female store manager's gaze exchanged with the veterinarian, who nodded lightly. The female store manager smiled brightly and said, The cat you mentioned has not been sold yet. It's just undergoing hair cleaning just now. In our store, we take care of all the cat's hair every day. She looked at the salesperson and said, Hurry up and bring the customer's beloved cat over. Afterwards, she extended her right hand and made a gesture of invitation to Tao Lu, saying, Guests, please sit over here. This is your first time raising a cat. All right, let me introduce you to the things you need to pay attention to. Shimu anxiously huddled in the narrow metal cage. He never imagined that he would fall to the point where he is today. The source energy core was completely shattered, as he had anticipated. But what he didn't expect was that this planet was so strange that no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't absorb any source energy, so naturally he couldn't repair the core. Without the support of the core source energy, Simu can only maintain his current ancestral image, cannot transform, cannot repair and activate personal systems, and cannot send signals to contact his subordinates. He has endured the strongest impact, and I don't know if they can handle it well. The door has opened. The man in white just now walked towards him with another woman. Shimu unconsciously arched his body. His current strength is similar to that of the petite cat-like animals on the blue star, and he is ridiculously weak. Just now, although the man in white remained silent, he keenly sensed the killing intent in his heart. The liquid inside the needle that is approaching me must be very dangerous. This is an innate ability of the Mio Empire royal family which can be used without the need for a source energy core. If it were at its peak, such a mediocre and weak blue star person could easily annihilate thousands with just one click. But now, he can only stand idly by. Fortunately, the man in white was startled by the noise outside and walked out to investigate. Otherwise, he would have been a cold corpse by now. The man in white clothes who came back again had no longer the suffocating aura he had just had. The woman accompanying him also emitted a faint sense of joy. Your life is good, you can survive now, the man in white said expressionlessly. As soon as he spoke, he inexplicably realized that something hanging deep in his heart had been released, making it incredibly easy. Simu didn't understand why the attitude of this white-clad man changed so quickly. But he immediately found out. The young blue star woman squatted down to look at him and said gently, you look so ugly, and some people like you and are willing to take you home. You are really a lucky little guy. After following your new owner back, be gentle and obedient, and don't be as fierce as before. Upon hearing these words, Shimu couldn't believe it and his eyes widened, causing the entire cat to freeze. Master. Who is qualified to be my master, the owner of His Highness the First Prince of the Daoeo Empire, who has hundreds of star domains and thousands of administrative stars. And, what did this blue starred woman say earlier, ugly? This hall has been awarded the most popular idol gold award in the empire, for both its original appearance and ancestral image. The aesthetic views of these blue star people are simply despicable to the point of being infuriating. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 The regulatory training work is gone. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 
The regulatory training work is gone, it is a variant of the main coon cat, um, an extremely rare flower color, and it is short-haired, making it easy to take care of. Moreover, its black and golden pupils are unique. Tao Lu didn't listen to the female store manager's serious nonsense at all. She was carefully and joyfully gazing at the uniquely ugly cat in front of her. It is similar to the holographic image it will see in the future, with a large body size and large patches of sapphire blue distributed on its champagne golden body. If that's all, it's okay. Many people also love cats with different colors. The key is that most of its face is also covered with large irregular blue spots, from the forehead to the eyes, and then into the right neck. With a pair of dark and golden eyes, it unconsciously makes people feel ugly and vicious. Tao Lu doesn't think so. Her heart was filled with ecstasy and joy. It's it, it's it, it's that cat. I did it, I saved that ugly cat. Everything in the future will never happen again. When Tao Lu eagerly looked at Shimu, Shimu also looked at her. This plain-looking blue star woman's joy in her heart was so strong that it far surpassed those imperial noblewomen who had always admired her, which surprised him a bit. Compared to those blue star people who were extremely lacking in appreciation before, this one in front of me has at least a good eye. At this point, Simu had understood that if it weren't for the appearance of this woman, he might have died here, in an unnamed galaxy hidden deep behind a black hole, silently. Upon thinking about it, the pretty face in front of me looked a bit pleasing to the eye. Since that's the case, I reluctantly agree to let her serve this hall for a period of time. If it's done well, give her more rewards when she leaves, such as giving her a planet to play on. Shimu thought casually. He is so optimistic and generous because just now, he was suddenly able to absorb energy and repair the core. Although the speed is a bit slow, at least it's still the beginning. How much is it? I bought it, Tao Lu interrupted the female store manager's incessant chatter. 10,000 yuan the female store manager asked tentatively. Deal. Tao Lu didn't bargain at all, afraid of any unexpected changes. The female store manager smiled all over her face and gestured for the salesperson to take her to the front desk to make the payment. However, she secretly regretted it and called for a slightly lower price. But forget it, anyway, the money was picked up for nothing. This cat was picked up and brought to the store by someone, it doesn't belong to any breed of cat at all. She originally saw its unique appearance and set it up in the exhibition area, wanting to give it a try. I didn't expect to actually encounter a big injustice. Two and a half hours later, the unjust leader Tao Lu held a pet aviation box in his right hand, carrying a bulging bag in his left hand, filled with cat food and snacks gifted by the shop, he arrived at the airport. She first went to the cargo office next to the terminal to handle the pet check that I end procedures. I'll let you down for a while, Tao Lu looked at Simu gently. Pets must be checked in, this is our rule here. I promise to come and pick you up as soon as the plane lands. She explained with a good temper. The Mio people have said that their first prince, His Highness, was injured while crossing a black hole. As long as he is given more time, at most two to three months, he can recuperate and leave on his own. Tao Li's task is to showcase the enthusiasm, friendliness, hospitality, and all the excellent qualities of the Blue Star people during the cultivation period of this esteemed prince, so that he can be satisfied and leave with a good impression of the Blue Star people, preferably never to return. Simply put, it means taking good care of this gentleman within a limited time. It must be admitted that on this point, Tao Lu and Shimu's ideas coincide by chance. Shimu has been busy absorbing energy and hasn't even given a glance to Tao Lu. In his opinion, although this woman may be slightly more pleasing to the eye than other blue star people, it's just that. His source energy core was damaged while crossing the black hole, and at the current slow repair speed, it will take at least a year to fully repair it. During this year, he had almost no ability to protect himself. So he needed to hurry up. Someone lifted the air box and sent it to the corresponding cargo hold. 
There, Simu will be transported along with other large consignments and pets to the cargo hold after the arrival of the previous flight. Shimu doesn't care where he is. To his surprise, he was unable to absorb the source energy again. What kind of planet is this? It's just that the absorption speed of source energy is slow, how can it still be ineffective at times? Shimu's heart was filled with worries. Wait a moment, what's the difference between just now and now? He pondered. Or, to put it another way, what is the difference between the previous month when he couldn't absorb source energy no matter what, and the few hours just now? He conducted a meticulous screening and investigation in his mind. Then he discovered that there was a difference, which was the discerning blue star woman. When she appeared in front of him, he regained his absorption ability, when she disappeared, he returned to a state of helplessness. So, the key to everything is her, right? What is his nominal, master? Or is it just a coincidence? Shimu's eyes narrowed. After talking to his parents on the phone, Tao Lu had a meal at the airport. She was hungry from morning until afternoon, all supported by a will to save the world. Now that we have achieved great success, hunger is overwhelming. After settling the accounts, Tao Li's property was only 2,700 yuan left. There's no way, the return ticket, pet airline case, and shipping all cost money. Thinking of money, Tao Lu recalled that at that time, she had found a job. I am a trained physician at Yunchur Ui Hospital. The full name of standardized training is, Standardized Training for Resident Doctors, which is a stage that every medical student must go through before becoming a formal clinical physician after graduation. Regular trained doctors are not formal physicians, and their salaries are also very low. For example, in my past life, I worked at UI Hospital, where I only had 2,000 yuan per month. But without undergoing formal training, one is not qualified to enter the hospital and become a formal physician, so learning medicine is really a long and arduous road. The term of the training contract signed by Tao Lu was three years, but she only worked for one year and was dismissed due to the accident that forced her head. With such poor qualifications, no hospital is willing to hire her. If it weren't for meeting her mentor, she wouldn't have had the opportunity to continue practicing medicine. Of course, under the guidance of her mentor, she also crossed the threshold of traditional Chinese medicine and obtained the qualification to practice traditional Chinese medicine, transitioning from Western medicine to traditional Chinese medicine. But so what? Her ambition is only to treat patients, and it doesn't matter how or where she is. It's just that the matter is completely out of her mind, making it difficult for her to calm down. Looking back on her past life, she took the regulatory trainee selection exam in early June. As for when the results came out and when she signed the contract and started working, she can't remember clearly. At 5.30 p.m., the boarding time has arrived. Tao Lu had just stood up, but received a phone call. Looking at the name on the caller ID, Tao Li's face showed a hint of sneer. At that time, she still regarded Tong Xiaoran as a good friend and best friend. She answered the phone, and the other person's thunderous voice came from across. Lele, where did you go today? You didn't even come to sign the contract with the regulated trainee. I called you this morning, but you ignored me. Did you run out again tonight and get drunk? The voice on the other side of the phone is a bit noisy, as well as the voices of others. Tong Xiaoran is not alone. Thinking of what she just said, Tao Leli even understood. Originally, today was the day when the eight newly admitted trainees from UI Hospital signed contracts, but she had already missed it perfectly. But even if she still remembers, this matter is far less important than rescuing the ugly cat or saving the blue star. At this time, they should go out together to celebrate. There may be other doctors or hospital leaders around. So Tong Sharon's words made his heart very sinister. Whether in the past or in the future, Tao Lu has always been very disciplined. Apart from occasionally having a few drinks with friends, he never goes out late at night to get drunk. Tong Xiaoran also knew this well, 
but she deliberately said these misleading words in front of others. Of course, Tao Lu had already fully experienced her character in that accident. The behavior before me is just an appetizer. Is that why you called? Then I know. Tao Li's tone was faint. Lele, where are you? Although you didn't come today, your grades are at the top. Maybe the director can give you another chance. I'll plead with you later. Tao Lu listened with a cold smile on his lips. So that's why Tong Xiaoran said that sentence just now. Her grades are too good. If she is late for a reason, the hospital will probably give her another chance. But now with this preconceived, good friend, it's hard to say. Even if further explanation is made, it will still be considered as a sophistry. To be honest, the way the manager of UI Hospital handled things at critical times also made her feel uneasy. So in this life, she didn't originally want to continue her relationship with that place. Thank you, but no need. Tao Lu hung up the phone and turned it off directly. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 I am a practicing physician. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 I am a practicing physician The plane cruised steadily at high altitude. Tao Lu closed his eyes and considered his recent plans. Thirty years later, she has integrated and even improved the inheritance of traditional Chinese medicine taught by her mentor. The unexpected acquisition of the Golden Finger also increased her success rate in treatment, making her a local, famous doctor. However, the traditional Chinese medicine clinic of my mentor was built in a township, and the number of patients I saw was small, and the number of cases was not diverse enough. She is still an undergraduate student in clinical medicine at Yuncher Medical University. Going to a comprehensive hospital, becoming an excellent surgeon, seeing and treating more patients has always been her regret and dream. Perhaps, in practice, she can also combine traditional Chinese and Western medicine to pave a wider path. At this moment, the plane suddenly shook violently without warning. The onboard broadcast sounded. Ladies and gentlemen, our plane has encountered strong airflow and there may be some turbulence during the flight. Please return to your seats and fasten your seat belts. The broadcast was not over yet, and the plane shook violently a few more times before starting a steep vertical descent. Sudden weightlessness tightened Tao Li's heart in an instant. The steep descent seemed to only last for a second, perhaps even longer before abruptly stopping. Before the passengers could relax, the plane shook violently again. Immediately after, the aircraft began to tilt significantly, accompanied by significant left-dot-right flipping, and the tilt of the aircraft exceeded 30 degrees. Tao Lu tightly grasped the armrests on both sides of the seat, resisting the dizziness in his mind. There were screams of surprise and cries of children in the cabin. Tao Lu is not afraid. She has died once, so there is nothing to worry about. Moreover, at this time in her past life, she had never heard of any air accidents happening in China. Sure enough, this fluctuation lasted for about a minute, and the plane stabilized again, climbed to its previous altitude, and continued to cruise steadily. The broadcast sounded, informing everyone that it was the airflow that caused the problem earlier. Now that the difficulties have been overcome, there will be a smooth road ahead. A delicious dinner will be distributed later as a consolation. All passengers breathed a sigh of relief. At this moment, a cry of surprise came from the front of the plane. Dad, what's wrong with you? Dad. Flight attendant, flight attendant. The sound is coming from the head cabin direction. Two flight attendants hurriedly ran from the pantry behind the plane to the front. In just a few seconds, the broadcast rang out again on the plane. An acute patient appeared on the plane and needs to seek a doctor. Without hesitation, Tao Lu stood up and quickly walked towards the front of the plane. She lifted the curtain separating the regular class and business class, and rushed straight into first class. A tall man with his back to her was introducing himself. I am Zhao Hung, the director of the Department of Cardiology at Yuncher First Hospital. Upon hearing these words, 
Tao Lu was taken aback. Because of Director Zhao, she has met her before, although the other party definitely does not recognize her. The full name of Yunchur First Hospital is the first affiliated hospital of Yunchur Medical University. Zhao Huang is not only the director of the Department of Cardiology at a hospital, but also a professor and doctoral supervisor at Yunchur Medical University. Tao Lu has attended his public classes. As Zhao Huang, it is perfectly reasonable to travel in business class. That's also why he was able to come one step faster than Tao Lu. Director Zhao, it's really lucky to have you on the plane. My father has been saved. The patient's son turned from shock to joy, nodding gratefully to Zhao Hang and saying to the patient, Dad, did you hear me? With Director Zhao present, you must be fine. The two flight attendants were equally overjoyed. Following the emergence of critical patients on the flight, the best news is that there is also an awesome doctor. I need to take a look at the patient first, Zhao Hang strode forward of the patient, revealing Tao Lu, who was tightly blocked by him behind him. A flight attendant noticed her with a questioning gaze. My name is Tao Lu, I graduated from Yunshu Medical University with a major in clinical medicine and have obtained a practicing physician qualification certificate, Tao Lu said. Compared to Director Zhao, her age and qualifications are as light as a feather. The flight attendant thanked her, but the patient's son just turned around and nodded casually at her without even saying a word. Tao Lu clearly saw that the corner of his right mouth was gently raised upwards. This micro-expression represents contempt. Tao Lu understood this subtle emotion, but did not care. She is too young now and has just obtained the qualification certificate for practicing medicine, so it is inevitable that she will not be valued. Tao Lu quickly came to the patient's side, and with just one glance, his face became as solemn as Zhao Heng's. This is an elderly man in his seventies, with a flushed complexion and a noticeable tilt in his left eye and mouth. He tried to say something, but couldn't control his mouth, and transparent saliva flowed out of the corner of his mouth. Stroke. She quickly made a judgment. After a brief aerial adventure, there is a high risk of stroke for patients with high blood pressure due to intense mood fluctuations. Tao Lu has seen many similar things before. With a thought, she activated her golden finger and an interface appeared before her eyes. The background of the interface is dark red, indicating a very serious condition. Age 72 years old Health value 22, causes 75% cerebral hemorrhage, 20% hypertension, and 5% periodontitis. Blood pressure 180-130 heart rate 110, blood oxygen saturation 88% The interface displays all indicators that exceed normal values, and even a clear three-dot dimensional image of the brain. From the graph, it can be seen that both bleeding points are located in the right posterior part of the thalamus. The graph indicates that the amount of bleeding has reached 6 milliliters and is slowly increasing. It is undoubtedly thalamic hemorrhage caused by hypertension. For this situation, treatment is urgent. The earlier the treatment, the greater the hope of the patient's survival. Tao Lu instinctively wanted to pull out his golden needle bag. Her hand naturally fell empty. Tao Lu regained consciousness, and now she is not the well.known good traditional Chinese medicine practitioner from 30 years later, and her mentor has not yet given her the set of golden needles. More importantly, she has no control over patients in close proximity and cannot make decisions. You all come and help, lay the patient flat on the ground, Zhao Heng said. He, along with the patient's son and another male flight attendant, helped the patient up and tried to place them steadily in the aisle. Zhao Heng squatted beside the patient, loosened his collar, and began a physical examination. Tao Lu thought for a moment and told the flight attendant to immediately retrieve the emergency medical kit and oxygen cylinder. Then she also crouched down and touched the wrist vein of the patient's right hand with one hand. The patient's pulse image fully conforms to the characteristics of cerebral hemorrhage, with a strong and numerous pulse patterns. Hong Mai refers to the feeling of blood vessels filling up when cutting the pulse, such as surging waves, 
commonly seen in patients with hypertension, hyperthyroidism, and fever, counting pulse refers to the patient's increased heart rate. As a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner with golden fingers, Tao Lu has a set of first aid methods for the current illness. The earlier the rescue, the better the effect. But with the contemptuous attitude of the patient's family towards themselves at present, even if they speak up, it is a waste of time on disputes. Fortunately, the patient still maintains a clear mind to this day. I hope he can persist until the hospital, right? As soon as she thought about it, she saw that the patient's health value had dropped a bit again and was about to reach the critical point of endangerment. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. I also have traditional Chinese medicine inheritance. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5. I also have traditional Chinese medicine inheritance. Does the patient have hypertension, heart disease, as well as high blood sugar and high blood lipids? Zhao Heng asked as he opened the patient's eyelids. Tao Lu had already activated her phone, and at that moment she activated the flashlight function cooperating with his eyelids flipping action, shining it on the patient's pupils. Zhao Heng looked up at Tao Lu and affirmed her quick reaction. My dad is 50 years old and has been suffering from high blood pressure for 20 years now. His heart and blood sugar are okay, but his blood lipids are a bit high. He took his daily antihypertensive medication this morning, but after the plane crashed just now, suddenly. Hypertension may cause cerebral hemorrhage. Hyperlipidemia may lead to the formation of blood clots and cause cerebral obstruction. Neither of these two diseases is a good thing. Zhao Heng sighed. This acute condition requires a cranial imaging examination, commonly known as brain CT or MRI, while examining multiple indicators such as whole blood cell count and creatinine to determine the cause. Based on the results, Intravenous hypotension or thrombolysis treatment may be given, and depending on the situation, craniotomy surgery may also be required. But on this plane, there are no tests or treatments that can be done. The patient's left eye pupil has narrowed, the reflex to light has weakened, and the right eye is normal, Tao Lu said of the result of the reflex to light. This result is neither too good nor too bad. Did you get the blood pressure monitor? Zhao Heng asked. Blood pressure is about 180-130, heart rate is 110, and blood oxygen saturation is poor. It is recommended to immediately administer oxygen to improve oxygenation, Tao Lu couldn't help but interject. She read the data directly from the gold finger interface just to save time. However, no one on site paid attention to her. The flight attendant handed the blood pressure monitor to Zhao Heng, who carefully measured it. The result came out quickly. 180-130, heart rate 112. There is almost no difference from what she just said. Seeing this result, everyone turned their attention to Tao Lu. Tao Lu didn't explain anything. Her face remained unchanged, neither resentful of being ignored earlier nor proud of the same outcome. Zhao Heng's gaze was tinged with a hint of appreciation. I agree with your suggestion, oxygen therapy, he said. Patients with tachycardia often have low levels of oxygen in their blood, and the heart needs to beat harder to increase oxygen intake. Oxygen therapy can quickly improve this symptom. To be honest, this is the only medical support that patients can receive on airplanes now. Tao Lu fastened the oxygen mask onto the patient's face and adjusted the flow rate. Zhao Heng took a glance and found that Tao Lu was set to 3L per minute, which was just right for the traffic. The higher the oxygen concentration, the better. The concentration is too low to achieve the desired effect, if it is too high, without any monitoring equipment, it may cause metabolic acidosis, which is counterproductive. This female student must have performed very well during her internship. Quick reaction, quick hands and feet, solid basic skills, and even surprise yourself. The patient's breathing became calm. On the interface in front of Tao Lu, the patient's blood oxygen saturation has increased to 92%, and the heart rate has also dropped to 95%. 
Zhao Heng stood up and explained the condition to the patient's son. Based on various symptoms, it is highly suspected that your father has a cerebral hemorrhage or acute cerebral obstruction. Most people understand the meanings represented by these two medical terms. Although there was some speculation, upon hearing that it was indeed such a serious illness, the patient's son also panicked. Director, can you save him? My father's safety is very important. He came to Yunshur to discuss a project worth over 2 billion yuan. There must be no trouble, Zhao Heng sighed and said, doctors are not omnipotent, they can only do their best. But if your father can still maintain a clear state when he arrives at the hospital, there is undoubtedly hope for recovery in the later stage. He turned to the flight attendant and said, report to the air traffic control that there is a critically ill patient here, suspected of having a cerebral hemorrhage or stroke. Please provide all convenience and support, and prepare an ambulance. The flight attendant hurried to report to the captain and contact the air traffic control in the area. The plane has been flying for nearly an hour now, with a continuous mountainous area below. The only airport that can land recently is Yunshur, which was also the original destination of the flight. In no time, the flight attendant returned with good news. The air traffic control has opened up a green channel for us, commanding surrounding aircraft to avoid and allowing us to land first. The plane is speeding up now, but it will take at least 40 minutes. The airport emergency center is ready and the ambulance will arrive as soon as possible. Zhao Heng and Tao Lu exchanged a glance. 40 minutes, although it's not long, it's not short either. The positive factor is that the patient has not vomited or fallen into a coma yet, and the situation is relatively manageable. But the disease of cerebral hemorrhage has never been justified. In Zhao Heng's view, there is nothing else to do but wait. Xiao Tao, what do you think of this patient? He asked Tao Lu gently. I believe it is a hemorrhage from one side of the thalamus, and the amount of bleeding is not significant temporarily. However, if it is not treated in a timely manner, it is difficult to say, Tao Lu replied. Oh. Zhao Heng became interested. How do you determine if it's the thalamus, not the brainstem and other parts? The director is testing me, Tao Lu said. Only thalamic hemorrhage can cause patients to have crooked corners of the mouth, numbness, or hemiplegia. Don't forget brain obstruction, Zhao Heng reminded. Unless a CT scan is performed, he cannot accurately determine which type it belongs to. Cerebral hemorrhage can be clearly seen on CT, but cerebral obstruction cannot be detected at the time. It takes 24 to 48 hours before low-dot-density imaging can be detected on CT. It's not a brain obstruction, Tao Li's voice was not high, but with unquestionable affirmation. I don't want it to be a brain obstruction either. But the fact is, we can't distinguish between these two situations right now. Tao Li's heart moved. She found a reason to persuade the other party. I passed through the patient's pulse. It's a flood, smooth and numerous, caused by cerebral hemorrhage due to high blood pressure, and the pulse looks like this. Cerebral obstruction is caused by blood clots blocking blood vessels in the brain, resulting in poor blood flow. The pulse should be thin, continuous, or astringent. Zhao Heng was moved by these words. Are you not a graduate of clinical medicine? How can you also understand traditional Chinese medicine? As the director of cardiovascular surgery, he recognizes the therapeutic effect of traditional Chinese medicine on cardiovascular and cerebrovascular diseases. Even, they usually prescribe traditional Chinese patent medicines and simple preparations to dredge blood vessels and recuperate the body. Zhao Heng knows several well-known traditional Chinese medicine practitioners in the industry. They can indeed distinguish between cerebral hemorrhage and cerebral infarction by feeling their pulse, but they are all experienced doctors who have been practicing medicine for many years. The little girl in front of me, even if she had learned traditional Chinese medicine from her mother's womb, may not be able to distinguish such subtle pulse patterns. Although my major is clinical Western medicine, there is also a tradition of traditional Chinese medicine, said Tao Lu. She felt a bit depressed because her mentor doesn't even know her yet. 
it's hard to say that her medical skills were passed down from the other person. Fortunately, Zhao Heng did not further inquire. He tends to trust her in his heart, which is not a common idea in his many years of medical career. They quickly stopped chatting because the patient tilted their head to one side and went into a coma without warning. End of this chapter Chapter 6 The Role of the Golden Finger You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 The Role of the Golden Finger Under the premise of cerebral hemorrhage, life and death are often separated between wakefulness and coma. Sudden cerebral hemorrhage, depending on the location, has a total mortality rate of 30 to 50 percent. But if you fall into a deep coma, the mortality rate will increase to 95 percent. The pupils on both sides have narrowed and the reflex to light has disappeared, Tao Lu said urgently after checking the reflex to light. The patient has fallen into a deep coma. Everything is still sliding towards the worst direction, irretrievably. The interface in Tao Li's eyes turned into a deep purple color representing endangered species, and the patient's health value decreased to 18. The amount of bleeding in the brain increased to 11 milliliters. How long until we get to the airport? Zhao Heng asked the flight attendant. There are 30.2 minutes left. It's too late. Zhao Heng sighed. This patient also has a poor fate. If the disease occurs in the city, timely antihypertensive treatment should be possible, and there may be a glimmer of hope. Tao Lu also sighed in his heart. If she continues to stand idly by like this, even if the patient ultimately saves their life, they will probably spend the rest of their life unconsciously. How can she feel at ease? Zhao Heng looked at the patient's family and explained the current situation to him. The patient's condition is very bad. Acute cerebral hemorrhage, deep coma, even if you survive in the hospital, there is only a very low probability of waking up. Be mentally prepared. His tone was heavy. How could that be? It's impossible. Dad, Dad, wake up, wake up. The patient's son cried bitterly, Director Zhao, Dr. Xiao Tao, I beg you to save him, give him another try. Zhao Heng has seen too many scenes like this. He sighed and was about to speak. A voice came before him. Let me give it a try. It was Tao Lu. Zhao Heng grabbed her and gave her a warning look. Tao Lu understood. He warned himself. Don't be impulsive. What can you do about this situation now? Don't give your family any hope, otherwise the consequences will be unpredictable. She looked into Zhao Heng's eyes and shook her head, with a moving firmness in her expression. Then, Tao Lu looked at the patient's son and asked seriously, I know some methods of emergency treatment in traditional Chinese medicine. Give it a try, I am 30% sure, if I don't try, the patient will probably not be able to reach the hospital. How do you choose? Zhao Heng has heard of the experience of a famous Chinese doctor who successfully treated patients with acute cerebral hemorrhage with acupuncture and moxibustion. Ultimately, only a very small number of traditional Chinese medicine practitioners can master this technique. Is it okay for Xiao Tao in front of her to be so young? Once she fails, does she know what she will face? The words of persuasion were in his mouth, but he couldn't say anything. The Tao Lu in front of me, without hesitation and with a firm tone when facing the patient, is not it exactly like her own back then. The patient's son looked at her, then at Zhao Heng, and seeing that he had not discouraged him, he began to have a grudge in his heart. He was originally a person with great courage and the courage to make a decision. He immediately said, Dr. Tao, please do your best to treat me. No matter what the result is, I will only thank you for your help. The family's understanding and reasoning made Zhao Heng feel relieved. Tao Lu didn't think so much. She has always been like this in front of patients. Give me a syringe with the thinnest needle, she said to the flight attendant as she took off the patient's shoes and socks. The flight attendant acted very quickly and quickly found the smallest number 5 syringe in the first aid kit. She removed the sterile packaging and handed it to her. 
The diameter of this needle is 0.5 millimeters. Although it is a bit thicker, it is urgent to follow the rules and cannot afford to worry too much. The first acupoint chosen by Tao Lu was among the people. She used the oblique needling technique, which can stimulate essence and energy, awaken consciousness and open the mind, specifically treating sudden fainting, shock, and stroke. At the moment when the needle entered the acupoint, a prompt appeared on the interface in Tao Li's eyes. Please choose a treatment plan. A. Repair bleeding points. Required treatment frequency. One time, increasing health value by 8 points. B. Absorb congestion. Required treatment frequency. For times, increasing health value by 6 points each time. C. Treat hypertension. Required treatment frequency. 5 times, increasing health value by 4 points each time. D. Treat periodontitis. Required treatment frequency. 1 time, increasing health value by 3 points. Tao Li's golden fingers are not omnipotent, but have limitations. For the same patient, treatment can only be given once within 24 hours. There are priorities and urgency in matters. The current issue that endangers the patient's life is the active bleeding point in the thalamus. As long as they are fixed, everything will return to a controllable range. So, Tao Lu made a choice almost without hesitation. A. Start repairing the bleeding point. Count down to 5 minutes. 299 seconds, 298 seconds. Tao Lu closed the interface and devoted himself wholeheartedly to acupuncture and moxibustion for patients. Even without the golden finger, traditional Chinese medicine's emergency treatment for stroke has been validated and can have an additive effect. The needle was pulled out from the human acupoint, and the patient showed no response. Tao Lu is not discouraged. She took turns grabbing the patient's hands and used needling techniques to needle the Shaosheng acupoint on the tip of her thumb, the Zhongcheng acupoint on the middle finger, the Shaocheng and Shaoza acupoints on the little finger, the Shangyang acupoint on the index finger, and the Guancheng acupoint on the ring finger. She identifies her acupoints very quickly, takes the needle decisively, and has a calmness that does not belong to girls of this age. Zhao Heng looked in his eyes and nodded secretly. He silently picked up cotton balls and alcohol, doing disinfection and cleaning work. After puncturing the various acupoints on his fingertips, Tao Lu handed the syringe to Zhao Heng, and he squeezed out a few drops of blood the size of soybeans from each pinhole on his ten fingers. Afterwards, she took the sterilized needle and continued to prick and bleed at the Yin Bai, the Dun, Yong Quan, foot orifices in, ji in, and li dui acupoints at the ends of his toes. This is the 12 well point needling and bloodletting method in traditional Chinese medicine emergency treatment, which can lower blood pressure, slow down acute bleeding, and promote the opening and closing of the orifices. It's strange to say that when the last acupoint was bled, the patient's face changed noticeably and no longer flushed like before. Even more miraculously, the patient exhaled a long breath and had slight tremors in their fingers, as if there were signs of waking up. Everyone was encouraged, especially the patient's son, who stared closely at Tao Li's movements and dared not even blink. Acupuncture and moxibustion is also a very physical and mental thing. Tao Lu stopped and took a brief rest. Tao Lu opened the interface and took a look. At this point, the patient's health value has rebounded to 21 points, and the interface has changed to dark red. The treatment of golden fingers has not been completed. The increased health value now belongs to the effect of acupuncture and moxibustion itself. Blood pressure 160-110, heartbeat 90, blood oxygen saturation 96. The patient's blood pressure has significantly decreased, and their health value has once again risen above the endangered line. Countdown 97 seconds, 96 seconds in the three-dot dimensional image of the brain, one bleeding point has been repaired, and the amount of bleeding in the other has also been significantly reduced. A wet towel was handed over, and it was the sweet-looking flight attendant. Zhao Heng took the syringe from her hand and disinfected the needle again. 
Tao Lu wiped his face and then took the syringe. After a moment of contemplation, he chose to stab the patient's upper star acupoint, one inch in the center of his hairline. This acupoint has the functions of clearing the brain, brightening the eyes, and calming the mind. Now there is only the last and most crucial acupoint left. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 This is a miracle. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 This is a miracle Tao Lu disinfected the needle again, squatted on the patient's head, and gently penetrated the Bai Hui acupoint. Bai Hui is the sect of the whole body and the meeting of the hundred gods. In clinical practice, it has the effect of calming the wind, awakening the brain, and promoting yang and strengthening detachment. No matter how thin the needle of the syringe is, it is much thicker than the filiform needle used in acupuncture and moxibustion. Therefore, for important acupoints like Bai Hui, it is important to identify the acupoint accurately and not insert the needle too deeply. Tao Lu slanted his needle backwards along the subcutaneous area and inserted it about 0.3 inches, feeling a tight drop like a fish hook under the needle. This feeling is called deki, which is the premise for acupuncture and moxibustion to treat diseases. This time, she used the leakage method to perform the needle, which is to gently twist the needle body with her index finger and thumb, and quickly twist the index finger forward to rotate the needle body counterclockwise. After more than ten times of concentrated twirling, Tao Lu heard a sweet hint. After the treatment is completed, the patient's health value will be increased by eight points. Acupuncture and moxibustion will increase the health value by four points, and the total health value will be increased by twelve points. Visible to the naked eye, the color of the interface changed from dark red to regular red, and the patient's health value increased to thirty points. In the three-dot-dimensional image of the brain, the two bleeding points have completely healed, and the accumulated blood volume remains at 14 milliliters. At this moment, a cry of surprise came from Tao Li's side. The call came from the patient's son and two flight attendants. From their perspective, they saw the patient's eyelids trembling gently and then slightly opening a slit. His hands also made slight movements. The patient surprisingly woke up. Tao Lu also saw all of this. After lightly lifting and twisting again, she quickly pulled out the needle. Zhao Heng held down the needle with a disinfectant cotton ball and praised, it's done very well. The patient slowly and successfully lifted their right hand. His son immediately grasped it tightly and asked, Dad, you're awake. How do you feel? Don't feel dizzy, the patient said. Being able to speak, even if it's unclear, is still a good thing. At this point, the patient's mouth is still very crooked. After thinking for a moment, Tao Lu squatted down next to the patient, straightened his two earlobes, and vigorously rubbed them. Soon, the earlobes turned red. She quickly inserted a sterilized syringe into the patient's earlobe and squeezed out another drop of blood each. An incredible thing has happened. The patient's corner of the mouth was visibly restored to its original position. This is simply amazing. Everyone who witnessed this scene with their own eyes wide open, especially the patient's son. Tao Lu performed very calmly. Acupuncture on the earlobe to treat the crooked corners of the mouth after stroke was something she learned at a traditional Chinese medicine exchange conference in her previous life. Later on, she practiced several times and often received miraculous effects, so she wouldn't be surprised at this moment. However, this acupuncture and moxibustion just now has increased the patient's health value by 1 point to 31 points, which is a step closer to getting rid of the critical state, but it is gratifying. Zhao Heng asked the patient a few questions. For example, are you feeling dizzy now, are you going to Heisher now, and are there any other discomforts? The patient provided a clear and correct answer, and when answering the second question, it was a deliberate negation. This indicates that the patient's consciousness is very clear. Zhao Heng and Tao Lu were both very relieved. Now, except for a slight dizziness, the patient has no other discomfort. As long as we make good adjustments in the later stage, there is great hope that we can fully recover. 
This is the first time in Zhao Heng's many years of medical career that he has personally experienced this situation. Such a special environment, such a critical illness that is on the brink of death. After the little girl's first aid treatment, she was able to make such a difference. It's like a miracle. And all of this is because of Tao music. Zhao Heng looked at her kindly, as if looking at some rare treasure. The plane began to descend. It is expected to arrive at Yunshu Airport in 10 minutes, and the airport emergency center and ambulance are all on standby. The patient's son has come to his senses from great sorrow and joy. He stood up and bowed deeply to Zhao Heng and Tao Lu. Thank you Director Zhao and Dr. Tao. Thank you for taking the initiative to save my father in a timely manner, which is equivalent to saving our entire family. He stood up straight and said to Tao Lu, Dr. Tao, I'm sorry. I was too rude to you at the beginning today. I didn't expect that you not only have excellent medical skills, but also noble medical ethics. You can act without any regrets, which really makes me feel ashamed. As he spoke, he bowed deeply to Tao Lu again. Tao Lu avoided and did not accept this gift. The reason for achieving such therapeutic effects is partly because the patient has no history of heart disease, and partly because their own will has played a significant role. In addition, as a family member, you have timely authorized them at critical moments to achieve such good results. Tao Lu said. Although she spoke humbly, everyone knew that if it weren't for this little girl's first aid earlier, the patient's life and death would have been unpredictable. To be precise, it would have been a near death. The more she is calm and indifferent, the more everyone can't help but look up to her on the front line. Especially Zhao Huang. The more professional she is, the more she knows the difficulty of grasping the right balance and guesses what kind of risk she carries. This little Tao, when introducing herself just now, only mentioned that she has the qualification of a practicing physician. Combined with her clinical medicine major, this qualification can only be Western medicine. Then she rashly used acupuncture and moxibustion to cure the patient without the qualification of practicing Chinese medicine, and everyone would be happy if she succeeded. If she failed, what should the patient's family do? Fortunately, by chance, this hypothesis did not hold true. The plane will land in five minutes, the nearby flight attendant reminded, if this gentleman is lying on the ground, there may be discomfort during landing. Zhao Heng and Tao Lu exchanged glances and agreed. The former said, the patient's current condition is relatively optimistic, so you can help him up and sit down. There have been no more accidents since then. The plane landed smoothly. The blood pressure drops, the bleeding point is also repaired, and the patient's condition is very stable. Following Zhao Heng's guidance, a small amount of intravenous antihypertensive medication was used to lower blood pressure to 140 over 96, and then transported to Yunshu First Hospital. At the strong request of the patient's family, Tao Lu also followed Zhao Heng and took an ambulance to a hospital. When on the road, Tao Lu always felt as if he had forgotten something. But there were patients right in front of her, as well as cardiologists and professors from the school, and she had no time for him to care. Shimu's mood fluctuated like the old flying equipment on the Blue Star. Of course, it's not because of shock, this jolt is not worth mentioning to him. He is concerned about the absorption of source energy. On board the aircraft, the absorption capacity inexplicably recovers again, after being taken down and sent to the warehouse, it immediately stopped production. Shimu felt like a signal receiver, the signal source sometimes good and sometimes bad, sometimes far and sometimes close, mysterious and unpredictable. He stayed bored in the warehouse, watching one pet crate after another being taken out and handed over to their respective owners. New pets have also been brought in and taken away. Until he was the only one left, looking around the empty surroundings alone. By the way, where is the woman who promises to come and pick him up as soon as the plane lands? The first patient treatment has been written, do you like it? Comment and monthly pass, please feel free to throw them over. End of this chapter. What exactly did chapter 8 forget?
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. What exactly did Chapter 8 forget Yuncher First Hospital? The result of brain CT shows that there is nearly 15 milliliters of blood accumulation in the posterior part of the right thalamus, which is considered moderate to massive bleeding. The patient was immediately admitted to the neurosurgery ward. TSK Tisk. Ho Bo, the director of neurosurgery, looked at the brain CT image uploaded from the computer and chatted with Zhao Heng standing next to him. Lao Zhao, Kao. With this amount of bleeding, even if someone faints in my ward, it's as difficult as heaven to wake them up. You have nothing in the sky, you can wake people up and restore their sanity without showing any signs. Come on, you can transfer to our divine realm, and I am willing to be your deputy. These words made Zhao Heng smile bitterly. He hurriedly dragged Ho Bo to the door, pointed to Tao Lu standing outside the ward and said, You've got an oolong. It's the little girl over there who saved people. The traditional Chinese medicine tradition is serious, and acupuncture and moxibustion is superb. He blew along Ho Bo's mouth. A student of traditional Chinese medicine. It's rare to have this skill at such a young age. Director Ho became interested and said, Who is her master? Saying that you haven't graduated, you can't insult your master's reputation, Director Zhao replied. He was actually quite curious about this, but Tao Lu couldn't say it because she hadn't had a chance to become a teacher in her lifetime. Which hospital or clinic does she work at? Director Ho asked, gesturing for the long dot awaited bed doctor to check the electronic CT image. His doctors are all experienced and don't need to say much about what monitoring and treatment should be done. At most, I can remind them and closely monitor for any secondary bleeding. You can't imagine that. She is holding a practicing physician certificate from Western Medicine, or a graduate from our medical university. I inquired indirectly and found out that she has not participated in formal training yet. Director Zhao shared the information he obtained from the ambulance. Director Ho's eyes lit up and he said, Integrating traditional Chinese and Western medicine is the main focus of our department in the near future. Speaking of which, the number of trained doctors recruited by our department this year is not enough. You've already been divided into two this year, and we haven't had any outside of our hearts. Tomorrow, I'll go talk to the dean about this matter. Don't talk anymore, hurry up and watch the patient go. Zhao Heng said, simply leaving Director Ho behind and going straight to find Tao Lu, wanting to give her a few words. I didn't expect that in the blink of an eye, the little girl would disappear. Okay, anyway, I also need to get her contact information. It's not too late to tell her after we finalize the matter with the dean tomorrow. Zhao Heng thought. After the patient was admitted to the hospital and diagnosed, there was actually no matter with Tao Lu. The Department of Divine Surgery at the first hospital is well dot known far and wide, and even without her, there would definitely be no problems with the subsequent treatment. The patient's business should not be small. In just a short while, many people came outside the ward, each dressed neatly and with a strong aura. Because the doctor prevented them from entering the ward to disturb, they all gathered around the patient's son to ask for warmth and comfort. Tao Lu finally squeezed in and explained his intention to leave, regardless of the other party's persuasion or the curious eyes of the people around him. He turned around and left directly. Just kidding, it's almost midnight and she just remembered what she had forgotten. That ugly cat is still waiting for her to pick up at the airport cargo department. It's so late, I don't know if anyone else is on duty over there. She finally saw the dawn of saving everything. If this negligence made the old man dissatisfied, wouldn't she die a hundred times without redemption? She strode towards the hospital entrance, but was stopped by someone. Dr. Tao, please stay. The person stopping was still the son of the patient. Fu Yujing finally withdrew from the group of malicious people, only to find that Tao Li's figure had disappeared. He quickly made a judgment and took a shortcut straight to the entrance of the hospital, only then did he stop her at the right time. Dr. Tao, I admire your medical skills. If it's convenient, could you please leave me your contact information? 
If our family has any problems in the future, I can also ask for your help. Fu Yujing said respectfully. Such a young and excellent doctor has a promising future, making friends early is beneficial and harmless. Moreover, the other party also saved their own father, which is equivalent to saving their family's business in a critical moment. If something had happened to the old man at that time, this business would definitely have gone bankrupt, and the company's stock would have plummeted. Now, he is probably considering bankruptcy liquidation. So Dr. Tao has great kindness towards his family. Fu Yujing's words were reasonable, so Tao Lu exchanged phone numbers with him. Fu Yujing, my name, he introduced himself. You can call me Fu Gu. Is there anything I can help you with? You can call this number anytime. Tao Lu casually responded. She actually only cares about the patient's condition and has no intention of paying attention to their attire and identity. Subsequently, Fu Yujing handed over a beautifully packaged food box, with two beautiful seal characters printed on the packaging paper bag. Mei Shui. Tao Lu recognized these two seal characters. But she didn't know that this was the sign of a private restaurant in Yunshu. It usually didn't receive ordinary people, even ordinary members. Booking seats would have to wait for one or two months, let alone providing takeout. Tonight has delayed your dinner. This has just been delivered by someone, hoping it will suit your taste, Fu Yujing said with a smile, his eyes slightly raised. Tao Lu hesitated for a moment before taking it over. This was just a sincere dinner sent by the patient's family, and she was indeed a little dizzy from hunger. Refusing it would be too presumptuous. Moreover, the ugly cat master was also hungry. She remembers that this species also loves to eat blue star cuisine, and even pardoned many over its chefs for it. I asked Xiao Chen to take you back. It's so late, and you're not safe alone. Fu Yujing pointed to the door, where a Cadillac had already parked. Tao Lu thanked him and went out to get in the car. On the midday of the month, a clear glow fell on her smooth and full forehead, adding a touch of hazy softness to her ordinary face. Until the car disappeared silently around the corner, without even a single light, Fu Yujing moved his steps and turned back to the hospital. There was always a faint smile on the corner of his mouth. Tao Lu got off the car at Warehouse 3 of the airport cargo department and breathed a sigh of relief as she looked at the staff still on duty inside. The plane will arrive at 8 o'clock. Can you come and pick it up at 1 o'clock in the second half of the night? Are you a bit sorry for this little baby? The staff handed the aviation box containing Simu to Tao Lu, with a hint of blame in a gentle tone. It can be heard that he is also a cat lover. I'm really sorry, I've been delayed by something. Did it affect your rest? Tao Lu also felt very embarrassed. I'm not a big deal. I was supposed to be on duty. It's this little guy who was very irritable just now. Maybe because you didn't come, he didn't feel in the mood to eat. Tao Lu looked at Shimu, who was quietly staying in the aviation box at this moment. A pair of black and gold pupils were scorching on him, not knowing what he was thinking. The food bowl filled with cat food is still full. Well, of course she knows he doesn't like cat food anymore. I just hope that the food in the food box given by Mr. Fu is as exquisite as the packaging, and can satisfy this prince. End of this chapter Chapter 9, Grandpa, Where is Your Aloof Demeanor? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9, Grandpa, Where is Your Aloof Demeanor? Simu did not see anything special about his nominal owner. If it must be said that there is, then it is a lack of faith in words, and it was five blue stars late to come and pick me up. But just now, he confirmed that she was the signal source for walking. Since she appeared near the warehouse, he has once again regained his ability to absorb source energy. This blue-starred woman first saved him, but also had such an effect. Even if it was a slight breach of trust or offense, he would generously disregard it. Of course, the prerequisite is that she needs to find food for this temple as soon as possible. And this box is too small and suffocating for me. 
Tao Lu saw his frustration. Come out, I know this box has wronged you. I had no choice but to board the plane before, but now it's all right. She opened the door of the box and lifted Simu out, completely unaware that Simu's body suddenly stiffened. She looked at the waiting driver Xiao Chen and asked with a curved expression, it's okay to take him to your car, isn't it? Xiao Chen has long received orders from his own Xiao Fu to take good care of and escort Dr. Tao, who saved the old man. Not to mention that the other party is just carrying a cat onto the car, even if they catch up with a donkey, they will still obey orders. With a sincere smile on his face, Xiao Chen said, It's okay, Dr. Tao, you don't have to worry about these small things at all. Where are we going next? Yundong District 1, Rainbow Lane, said Tao Lu. Xiao Chen placed the food box he was holding in his hand, as well as a large bag of gifts from the Jiabao Cat House, at the door. So Dr. Tao, I'll go back first. You rest well, he said before leaving immediately. Tao Lu closed the door and turned on the room light. Shimu still lay obediently on her shoulder, motionless, as if asleep. It's strange to say that since coming out of Jiabao Cat House, he has been wearing a stinky face and has never seen her ugly cat uncle in front of her. Surprisingly, from the moment she carried him out of the empty container, he refused to come down as if he were glued to her. Probably tired and hungry, right? Tao Lu thought while placing him on the bed. But the ugly cat master didn't know what he was thinking. She had already reached this level, still holding on to her clothes with her claws and refusing to let go. Her eyes narrowed, indicating that he was clear-headed. If it weren't for his unique appearance, Tao Lu would almost have thought he had found the wrong cat. This is really what the Mio people are promoting, His Royal Highness, the wise, divine, and unparalleled first prince. What are you pestering people for? Excuse me, where is your aloof demeanor? When the woman was lifted out of the aviation box, Simu was indeed angry at her bold offense. But this anger only lasted for a moment and was immediately thrown out of the nine nights cloud. Is he dreaming? Why did the absorption speed of his source energy accelerate by more than ten times when he was in the arms of this blue-starred woman? He used to pay a great price every five years and spend three months in the ethereal nebula of the holy land of cultivation. He thought that the speed of cultivation there was his limit. Now he realized that this limit could be doubled as long as he stayed in this embrace. Here, he doesn't have to pay any price, and that woman has to take care of herself. So, what's the use of his useless aloofness and reserved demeanor? Anyway, this woman doesn't know her true identity, what's wrong with pretending to be a pet? By the way, who exactly is this plain-looking blue star woman? Could it be? Simu had a bit of speculation in his heart. This idea was really unbelievable, so at the moment he thought of it, he quickly threw it away. The urgent task at hand is to enhance strength and restore source energy, everything else is fleeting. Well, we also need to add the matter of dining. Although he didn't take a closer look, everything in this room was within his perceptual range. Does this blue star woman, who is a bit important to him, live in such a place. This place is really too narrow. In the Mio Empire, even the lowest level civilians live in allocated rooms that are four or five times larger than here. Not to mention Simu himself, he has palaces on hundreds of planets, and the palaces built on private planets are magnificent and spectacular beyond description. But it has to be admitted that after a month of living in a cage, his Royal Highness's adaptability has significantly improved. After a little fuss, he immediately accepted reality and allowed Tao Lu to place him on a pitifully narrow bed. Tao Lu looked at the cat paw that was still tightly clinging to him, afraid to have any temper, and could only discuss with him in a friendly manner. Wait a moment, I'll take out the food. Can't you get used to cat food? Upon hearing these words, Simu immediately retracted his claws. He was really starving, and the aroma coming from that paper bag was also very tempting. The wooden food box with black lacquer carved patterns is covered with insulation aluminum film on the outside, and when opened, the food is still warm. 
steamed shad, white oil chicken fur, fried shrimps with long jing tea, fresh bamboo shoots and rib soup, together with a bowl of crystal clear rice and two silver rolls, the color, smell and taste are excellent, which makes people feel very excited. Without her further ado, the cat master who had just spread out on the bed immediately flipped over and sat at the table. Tao Lu placed a thick pillow on the chair, allowing him to stand higher than the table. Simu didn't know what the difference was between his upright posture and that of an ordinary pet. Tao Lu pretended to be confused and didn't want to dampen his enthusiasm. Everything you do is right. It's just for the sake of all humanity, enduring for three months, she has this realization. Shimu was unable to use tableware, so Tao Lu entered the full feeding mode. The shad is plump and delicious, with a refreshing and nourishing aroma of chicken and fur. The shrimp is smooth and tender, and the soup is sweet and not greasy, which greatly pleased His Royal Highness. Blue Star still has its merits, at least in terms of diet, it is more than a star and a half stronger than the Mio Empire. I think it's understandable that this woman probably delayed the time to pick up the main hall just to prepare for these things. After sweeping the three dishes and one soup on the table, and adding a bowl of rice and a steamed rolls, bread, look like silver threads, Simu finally got a long-lost feeling of satiety. It once again forcefully nestled in Tao Li's arms, lazily closing its eyes. Tao Lu swallowed the only steamed rolls, bread, look like silver threads in two bitter mouthfuls, full of resentment. Ugly cat grandpa, you are too good at eating. I don't know how long I can continue to support you with the little money I have left. When packing the food box, Tao Lu suddenly noticed that there was a small black card inside the paper bag with the words, Mei Shui, printed on it. This is a bank savings card with the amount and password written on the back. This card is the true gift given by Fu Yujing. Tao Lu is not an inexperienced person who does not indulge in worldly pleasures. In her past life, she would selectively accept sincere gratitude and gifts from patients based on their condition. She could naturally see that the status and status of the father and son of the Fu family should not be low, whether it was the first class they were sitting in or the contract amount that Fu Yujing inadvertently mentioned, all of which indicated this. Even so, she felt that the 200,000 yuan was given too much. But now she doesn't have the energy to think about these issues anymore. On this day, too many things happened, and she was exhausted, dizzy, and in urgent need of sleep. End of this chapter Chapter 10 The Shell Disease Cat That Is Hard To Serve You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 10 the shell disease cat that is hard to serve when Shimu woke up, the bright and scorching sun was scorching the window lattice, rubbing the hollow patterns on the gauze curtain with contrasting light and shadow on the ground. The window is half open, but the room is still very stuffy. From Shimu's perspective, one can see droplets of sweat seeping out of Tao Li's forehead, soaking his messy hair and dyeing his cold cheeks red. Shimu vaguely remembers that someone seemed to have taken a shower for him last night. Her movements are very gentle, and the temperature of the water is also very comfortable. Afterwards, he fell into a deep sleep, without any warning or reservation. This kind of sleep, let alone after entering a black hole, he had not had it for many years, even before. Not to mention, he has been sleeping alone since his birth. No one has ever been able to share a bed with him, including his mother, wet nurse, or maid, otherwise he would be restless and unable to sleep. But last night, this blue star woman spent the whole night in bed with him like this, and he surprisingly had no resistance at all. Perhaps this is because I am well aware of the principle of hasty power, and in order to absorb energy, my body, and will quickly make emergency choices. Yes, it must be like this. Shimu checked his body. The absorption of source energy has progressed well and has returned to automatic operation. He noticed that even though he was asleep, Tao Lu still placed one hand on himself and did not let go. He tentatively moved his body away from her hands and had no further contact with her. Without any surprise, his energy absorption rate instantly slowed down, even more unbearable than this stuffy and hot room. 
Okay. Shimu accepted his fate. He sat directly on Tao Li's right arm, feeling the surging energy and the hunger that came like a mountain and sea. It's strange that he never knew he had such a strong expectation for food. Tao Lu opened her sleepy eyes, and a very ugly face caught her eye, instantly awakening her. She instinctively wanted to get up, but found that her right arm no longer seemed to be her own, numb and powerless. Please, please move aside a bit, my arm is numb from being pressed. She remembered clearly the identity of the ugly cat master and pleaded gently. Shimu reluctantly moved away and instead placed a cat paw on her. As long as there was contact, it would not affect his ability to restore his great cause. Tao Lu sat up and felt the pain and soreness of his right arm restoring blood flow. Then she saw the silent clock hanging on the wall. At 11.20. She surprisingly slept until noon. Today is Saturday, but she promised her parents to go back and visit them. Tao Li's parents live in Taiping County under the jurisdiction of Yun City, which is more than 30 kilometers away from the main urban area. She has always taken a train there. But now that she has this ugly cat by her side, it won't be so easy to go there again. Both long dot distance buses and trains are inconvenient for carrying pets. So now there is only one way left, which is to book a taxi and negotiate the price. When Tao Lu was thinking, the blood vessels in his arms were already unobstructed. She got up and got out of bed, but was once again caught in her pajamas by the cat's paws. She turned around and saw the resolute expression on the cat's face. It has to be said that this kind of positive expression on an ugly face is a bit I dot catching. But Tao Li's aesthetic view has undergone a huge transformation at this moment, and he doesn't feel any problem at all. Do you want me to hold you? Tao Lu asked seriously. Shimu nodded without hesitation. But now I have to go cook, it's inconvenient to hold you, or in other words, you're not hungry at all. Tao Lu coaxed patiently. Shimu licked his lips and savored the delicious food from last night. Okay. If it's for the food on earth, he can make a slight concession. Of course, the current Simu is not aware that there are significant differences in the interpretation of food among different humans on the Blue Star. Time is too tight. Tao Lu made her most skilled and only known Yang Chun noodles. At the same time, her mind was constantly pondering the cause of this prince's illness. Yes, as a rational doctor, I will consciously search for the cause of any unreasonable behavior from a pathological perspective. Tao Lu had already used the golden finger on Shimu, but the result was the same as in his previous life, where only the opponent's condition could be seen from the color. As for the cause and other data, they all showed beyond the scope of inquiry. Simu's interface is red, indicating that his injury is indeed very serious. Perhaps he also injured his brain when entering the blue star. It is normal for the body to be so severely injured, powerless and unable to transform, and the brain to be damaged. Tao Lu has basically diagnosed Simu with traumatic stress disorder. Only in this way can we reasonably explain why His Royal Highness, the first prince who is said to be from a noble background and has extraordinary strength, not only has seen it, but also has actually owned the vast sea of stars, is so clinging to himself. Even in his sleep, he repeatedly burrows into her arms, no matter how hard she pushes away. If it's not a disease, what else can it be because of? Can't it be because he fell in love with him at first sight? If such a joke were told in her past life, she would probably have died ten times more heroically. I just hope that this cat master can really recover automatically in two or three months, as Mio said, including his malfunctioning skull. For some reason, Tao Lu inexplicably felt a hint of worry in his heart. After waiting for thirty minutes, Simu was finally carried to the dining table. Yunqing's unique shrimp seed yang chun noodles, Tao Lu introduced proactively. For cats with shell disease, it is important to communicate more in order to facilitate their recovery. The normal practice is to stir-fry with refined lard, add two or three Sichuan peppercorns, pour in water and bring to a boil. After cooking the noodles, drain the water, 
sprinkle chopped green onions, pour soup and shrimp seed soy sauce, and it becomes a delicious bowl of noodles. Tao Lu explains systematically, while using chopsticks to pick up the noodles and feeding them to the ugly cat lying in her arms. Shimu listened while observing the two black bowls of food in front of him. No matter what he thinks, he cannot associate them with the cuisine that Tao Lu just described. Moreover, judging solely from the taste, this thing doesn't seem tempting either. Perhaps this is a dish that has been overshadowed by its appearance. So, is this blue-starred woman who is seriously introducing methods to this hall? That makes sense. He opened his mouth and as soon as he tasted it, his facial features twisted. It's not that this dish is so dark. It's just a bit greasy, a bit salty, and a bit soft, but the difference from last night's food is too big, which has disappointed his expectations. Shimu only took two bites before closing his mouth and never opening it again. Tao Li's family knew about their own affairs and didn't advise him much when he stopped eating. She silently ate all of her bowl of noodles, not even leaving any soup, thinking to herself. Is the taste still good? Even if you put too much lard, cook too much noodles, pour too much soy sauce, and don't cut scallions, it's still edible. This shell-sick cat master is really not easy to serve. End of this chapter